Hey guys, B-Man here. How are you guys doing today? Today we got an awesome one for you guys. We're going to show you guys a full guide for Godfrey, the first Elden Lord, guys. This battle right here and in this video we're going to show you guys how to get to this place from the entrance of the city, the first grace. And we're going to show you guys how to get the items that we use and the items that you guys, the viewers, on my stream when I was live streaming helped me come up with the best strategy to defeat him, guys. So these items here that you see here are the items we use for this. So you'll want a seal, and the Dragon Communication Seal is the best seal I found because you can get it early game, and it upgrades with Somber Smithing Stones. So you can put that to number four. You can get that helmet in the city before the Elden Lord so you can also get that helmet and it increases your faith you will only need 17 faith to run this lightning spear spell that we use so as you see you can do this really low level guys so with that said if this helps you out at any point of this video help me out hit that like button for me subscribe if you're new leave me an awesome comment and share this video with all your friends as that helps me and helps me help you guys so with that said let's get on and get on with this tutorial guys if at any point in this tutorial you guys need to know how to get to somewhere like get into the lindau capital city i've got a tutorial that will show you how to get into the city get right through all the bosses and get right through into the snowfields check out the link in the description for that but with that we'll get on we'll show you how to get to the god refight and then how to beat him and then we'll show you how to get the items let's go guys okay we're starting from here the east capital rampart grace site it's the first grace site you come to when you actually get into the city if you need to know how to get into the city check out the description and watch the video that shows you how to get right through now we want to go right down to this point then jump down to here and then we want to just make our way down to this road so to about here and then we want to go through and into the next grace site so through here and to here so we're going to follow that path that we've just marked out from here guys to get to the first grace site that we want to get to also guys link in the description on how where to get bloodhound step which is another item we use for this build which really is a vital item in my opinion to have in your arsenal so we're coming down here and we're just making our way down to the road. As you see, Bloodhound Step makes getting around things and around the map so much easier. Make your way down. And there will be this tree boss here. If you kill this tree boss, you will get a lord rune from him. If you want a lord rune for duplicating. And then right here is the grace site. Avenue, balcony, grace site. Now, from this point, we want to go over and we've got to go up the dragon's tail. Just remove the items that we're not going to use for this. This is where Bloodhound Step really shines, like here. If you have Bloodhound Step, you can just go straight past this guy with no issues. Don't even have to worry about him.
make your way up here, and then there's a grace site just in up here. Just to your left here, grace. So touch grace, and well, they killed me here. But it doesn't matter because you got the grace site. Grab your golden seed off that tree on your way past here, if you want it, but clearly I don't need it for this point, for what we're doing for this video. If you touch that seed on that tree, that gargo will start attacking you. But if you don't touch it, you can just run straight past. So this is what we're going to be using for this. We have Bloodhound Step to avoid damage. We have a seal. Well, I'm using the Dragon Communication Seal simply because it's an easy one to get early on and it can be upgraded with Somber Smithing Stones. So you can get to the Blacksmith in Leonia, get the first four Somber Smithing Stones and have that seal upgraded to plus four. And we're going to use the Lightning Spear for this method. Now that requires 17 faith, so you will need 17 faith to do this method. And I will show you after we've killed Godfrey where to get the Lightning Spear spell, guys. And then right here is Godfrey's boss fight so guys for this method all you want to do is have your lightning spear and bloodhound step have your bloodhound step equipped on your right hand and your seal on your left hand so you can lightning spear and still use your bloodhound step ability which is an ash of war to avoid damage now if you notice here most of the time 90 percent of the time Godfrey is just walking at us and not actually attacking. Now you can kind of control his behavior. You, if you take note of the distance I'm staying from him, you stay from, from him at this about this distance right here and all he does is just keeps walking at you. Walking at you and walking at you. He might do that throwing axe attack in which case you could just bloodhound step twice and then you can start spearing him again. It's actually really simple, this boss fight, if you do this method right here. Just spear him when he gets close, bloodhound step away, then spear him. Bloodhound step away and spear him. <laughs> this is practically turning Godfrey into a cheese, and you don't even need to be high level for this. As long as you've got bloodhound step to avoid damage, and you've got 17 faith to run the lightning, you're good guys. So simple as, easy as. Now if this helps you out, help me out, hit that like button. Now big shout out to my stream, the chat that helped us find this method because we were trying to kill him hard out with all the dragon breaths and none of the different dragon breaths had much effect of him. They were all, he just didn't take on rot, he doesn't bleed, he doesn't take extra he doesn't take frostbite or anything like that he doesn't the fire damage which doesn't seem to do much damage so we turn to lightning and this is really fast to cast it's not expensive and this turned out really awesome so this turned out almost borderline a cheese guys <laughs> let's go guys let's go that's godfrey simple easy and dead We were only level 33, and Godfrey's dead. We'll quickly show you our stats that we were running. And then we'll show you guys how to get up, carry on through to Margaret Morgoth's boss fight. As you see here, 17 faith, only level 33. And that's all you'll need to defeat Godfrey. Simple as, easy as, guys. I recommend boosting your vigor up to 40. 
but you don't need to, if you want it to be easier, do so. Then, after you've defeated Godfrey, this is how you get on to Morgoth, guys. Just for those that are wondering, you'll go up this route here, and then you'll carry on through. Okay, guys, now let's get on and show you guys how to get the Lightning Spear attack. Okay, so for the Lightning Spear, we want to come to the Artist Shack right here in Leonia. That you see this shack right here. And just down the road, just down from the shack, you're going to see this soldier, this Lightning Soldier guy. We've got to kill him. And when you kill this guy here, you will get the book that we can take to the Church of Vows, the Big Turtle. And hand to them the big turtle the book and then you will have the ability to purchase the spell from the turtle. We skipped the fight but yeah. Kill that guy and then when you loot his body you will get the book. And again we're just right here right by the artist shack in Leonia. Dragon Cult Prayer Book. Then we want to go to the Church of Vows, which is literally right here in Leonia. And give the book to the turtle. Once you've given the book, you'll be able to purchase the incantation, Lightning Spear. You'll be able to purchase some others as well, but the Lightning Spear is the one that we're interested in. You equipped it at a grace site by going to Memorize Spell and equipping it under Memorize Spell. You will need 17 faith to run it and a seal. The seal we are going to get for this is from here. Come to here, you're going to need two stone sword keys to open this steel, then come this way. Just run straight through all of this, you should be fine as long as you're fast, you won't take on poison. To get past this, wait for this to come up, and then once it comes up, we're going to follow it down. Now for this, I just take all my weight off so I'm lightweight, so I can run fast. I suggest you do the same. We want to run all the way to the second notch, not the first one. So we've just gone past the first notch and now the second hideaway we're going to walk into here. If you're fast, you'll get in here fine. Now we go zigzag so this dude doesn't shoot us, hit us. He's going to shoot twice and we're going to follow that down. And while it's going down, we're going to go straight in here and then go we're straight off this edge straight away. That thing is going to go straight back, keep going up. And then it's got to turn around and come down and keep turning around, chase all the way around. Now, we, as long as you do it like this timing that I've showed you, you should be fine and you can just run all the way. Because that thing can't chase us back fast enough to catch up. So just run all this way to the end. And at the end, we have to kill the guy at the end who will drop the seal. The reason we're using the seal is because it upgrades with somber smithing stones. So we can upgrade it to plus four just by getting to the blacksmith in Leonia. Because the blacksmith in Leonia sells all one, two, three, and four of somber smithing stones. So kill this guy here. Use your awesome lightning that we've just got before and take him out as you see it's got really good cast speed time in that and you'll get your drag communication seal take it to the blacksmith in the urnia buy your somber smithing stones and then upgrade it with your somber smithing stones guys with that said you have everything you need to go and take out godfrey without needing to be stupidly highly statted out you will only need 17 faith guys if this helps you out help me out hit that like button on your way out leave me an awesome comment subscribe if you're new and share this video with all your friends thank you guys for watching and with that said have an awesome day
I'll catch you guys in my next video. B-Man, out.